Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Driving. Today we're going to be taking a look at a map called Learn to Fly. So the map starts you in the air a little bit, so we've already lost our mirror and damaged our tailgate, but it doesn't affect the way the vehicle itself drives. And over to the right here, that's where the fun is at, but it's a little bit hard to see the fun because it's so steep you have to use a little bit of an awkward camera to make sure you're going the right direction, not just driving right off the road. We have a bunch of ramps with various things at the end of them. First one is a tube that goes way up into the air, which we're not going to be able to get to the top of, and it's not really the vehicle itself's fault because I've used a few different vehicles trying that out, and most of them aren't going to get all the way through the tube, and those that do end up just falling back in the tube anyways. So it's not much different than any other vehicle. So now we can go ahead and bring that back up to the top and try the next one. But to try the next one, we might as well use a different vehicle for variety. So let's go with the lead sled version of the Burnside. Such a fun name to say. Lead sled. Because it rhymes. But what I was saying about that awkward camera angle, like I know the place I want to be is about right there, but I, I got to pull up the camera a little bit and make sure. Otherwise, I could just drive right off the edge because I thought I was somewhere and I actually wasn't. So we're going to hit this at well over 100 miles per hour. We're going to fly out of it and then slam into a mountain and then into the water as well. I think most of the damage is going to be coming from the mountain though. And then we're going to roll down it basically. Yep. And it's uh, going to come to a stop after the tires pop. Just decided to pop right there. I'm kind of letting it go because it's still moving. But I don't think anything's going to happen. So we'll go ahead and reset it and take a look at the next car. Which will be a ETK 800 series. I got to go with the fast one because I am super impatient though. And we can go behind us a little bit and forward. And we're going to find the next thing which we can jump off of. And this one I'm actually just zoom out the camera a lot because I don't know exactly where this one is. Oh, we're already there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and floor it. We're going to hit that and then we're going to smash right into the ramp. We're driving down already. How inconvenient is that? Like, I go all the way down there just to crash into the ramp like that. Why? Because that's the way it's designed. That's what you're supposed to do. And you could do it again if we had a functional drive shaft. But, well, we don't. So we can't really accelerate after all. Oh, well, let's go ahead and reset that and swap it out for the Hirochi SBR4 hill climb version. Because we need a really fast car for the next jump we're going to be doing. Because we're going to be inverting the vehicle so let's see where is the next one i'm actually a little bit behind it i didn't expect that i thought i would have to uh go backwards a little bit but we're already back enough so here's the one you gotta do a full loop and four loops it's much easier if you use this camera angle so we're gonna swap to that and keep going full power come on just keep going i don't care 360 yeah totally 360 that thing I mean, we weren't going to be going very fast anyway, so 360 didn't do too much of a difference. And actually, it was kind of cool doing a 360, but I don't think I would trust myself doing it with the external camera. I could try it, but it would just lead to disappointment, so I see no reason to do so. So instead, we're going to just swap to an ETK i series like the 3000iX and drive down the next hill, which is located a little bit to my right. We'll line that up a bit better. A little slow and then floor it as fast as we can possibly go which isn't too fast in this car compared to some of the other ones but it should be fast enough for this right here come on basically got to the top of that and we're actually gonna fall onto the ground which will get us even more damage than if we hit the road so i think that's a bonus and then we're just gonna slide underwater until we get to the low point right there and then we'll reset it I'm going to swap it for the next car, which will be a 200BX, and we'll just go with a Type LS, nothing fancy, just a regular, regular 200BX. We'll look around a bit, try to find the next ramp, there it is, and then a floor it, and this one's nice and simple, it's just a jump at the end of this one, which will hit at 140 something miles per hour. And right into a tree. Oh, right over the tree. I thought I was going to hit it, but just a little too high to actually make contact. So the car's on fire, but thankfully there's the water to save the day, making sure nothing burns down. So we'll reset that. And the next car we're going to use, how about a sunburst? I was going to do bull eye, but the sunburst was calling me. And it doesn't really matter which one we use. So let's just go like Sport RS, you know, a little fast, but 
not a race car or anything like that. Zooming out, zooming out. Ooh, I always miss them. They're so sneaky. One thing I wouldn't mind is just little things at the top that kind of just give you indication of, or little walls actually maybe, where it's just a drop off or something. Just something to tell me, hey, this is the drop off and this is where the uh, ramp is. Just to make it a little bit easier. So slow-mo, bottoming out the car, front bumper, barely hanging on. I don't even know if it's hanging on actually. It might just be kind of being stuck on by the speed of the vehicle. And then lights. And then full speed. Looks like we're going to clear that hole and right onto the road. Which we will be driving on in a minute because there's only one more jump left. But I want to finish up all the jumps before you look at that road. And you really think of the road as a bonus because this map, it seems like the main thing of interest are these jumps. But then we have a pretty decent rally road we can drive around on as well. So the last car we're going to be using will be the Bolide. And we're going to get one with a big old wing. It's because I like the ones with the wings. Are we lined up? Nope, it's right at the edge. So we'll move it over a little fast, kind of recover, perfect. Whoa, that one's fast enough to give me a little bit of wheel spin right there. Oh, come on. Stay straight, stay straight, perfect. I probably, if I held the accelerator, it might have stayed a little bit more level, I didn't think of that. That was actually a really smooth landing. I mean, yeah, it really smashed in the roof a lot, but for the speed and stuff, that was a lot smoother than I expected. So now onto the dirt road. We're going to need a car that's made for that. Like the rally version of the ETK I series would probably work pretty well. So we'll spawn up that. And then we're going to go to the right through that giant door. I guess you could call it right here. And then we have this thing, which is really steep. So it's really easy to go really fast. Well, actually, it's really easy to go too fast and fall off. So you want to make sure you control your speed but don't brake so hard that you lock up the brakes because if you lock up the brakes that will usually lead to pain that you want to do what i'm doing where you just you're going at a reasonable speed and then on the transition from this to the dirt you got to go slow there it's a pretty harsh transition so we're going to really slow it down a little bit at angle perfect that's like a good speed for that now right there there's a thing that almost looks like an alternative path but it's a little bit of a lip so we can't make it with this car, but it just loops around to that point. So we'll be exiting from there in a bit. And uh, this is pleasantly better than I would have expected. Like I figured this is kind of just almost a background road and it's not really meant to be driven on. But it's actually a pretty nice road to drive on because it just has so many elevation changes. But it's relatively smooth throughout the whole thing where there's only a few spots here and there where you could actually break your car. One of which is where the bridge connects to the dirt road which is coming up in a bit so we got to go really slow through there but i'm going slow through most of this just because it is so steep you don't want to get ahead of yourself it's really easy to go too fast and then just fly off the road like right here we could easily just kept accelerating but we'd be flying right now and crashing i want to rather do this in one attempt only because it's a lot harder to do that versus just fly and crash at every single possible location so we got a little bit of damage right there gotta go slow on that next one just to make sure we don't damage it anymore. A little bit of radiator damage is never a concern to me. Unless I start to see the car overheating. Then it is. But I'm pretty sure we should be okay for the rest of this course. Without having to worry about the car overheating. Because it's a pretty low temperature car. It's not like the uh, drag versions of cars where they overheat in the blink of an eye. It takes a while for it to overheat. A little slower through that transition. Just to make sure we don't damage the vehicle. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Now right here, I'm going to do something a little weird. I'm going to actually go to the right side a bit like that. Because if we go directly to the road, it's really easy to go too fast into it. So right there, if I just kind of use that little bit of the hill to slow myself down to make sure we go into that as slow as possible, not to damage the car. 100% intentional. Strategy, man. Got to use that strategy so you don't destroy your car. I mean, this road is decent enough where I could totally see it as just being used as a scenario. I mean, I could totally see that existing. No reason why not to. Come on, turn left. We're almost done. Just got a little bit left. Go slow and steady. I'm not going to break the car in the last few seconds. I will drive off the course just a little bit to make sure I don't fall off of it, though, like I did right there. So here we go. Right over this hill, there is the last bridge, which connects up to where we started. We're just making sure not to damage ourselves right here. Extra careful. Like, 
I've been careful this whole time saying how careful I am. Now it's extra careful. All right, floor it. Floor it. Floor it. By the way, the car's been pulling to the right for a while. Uh, ever since I had the radiator damage, basically. Which has been slowing me down even farther and making me have to be even more careful. But there you go. That's driving on the dirt roads. And since this thing's still driving, we could bring it back up and then take it through a jump as well. After all that, I think it deserves a proper send-off. Whoa, a proper send-off is not bouncing off of this accidentally. It's getting up to the top and then flying off of it properly. Thought I was going to fall off for a second. Don't give up on me. I do notice the temperature is getting up there a little bit now. But we don't have much left. Oh, no! I, I don't know if I have enough traction with those pop tires. Let's see. Can we get up? Yes, we can. I right, go a little bit over here. It looks like it might be a smoother transition. And then we can hit a jump. Hope I can keep this thing straight. It's not going to be easy, but I just got to give it my best. Straight, straight. Oh, I'm, per I'm holding that pretty good. It's actually a little bit easier than I expected it to be. Overheating. Doesn't matter. We're at the finish for this thing. It did an amazing job. I am so proud of this car. Couldn't have asked for any more. Anyways, that will do it. Till next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.